Welcome to C programming. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the bubble sort and how to optimize the bubble sort algorithm. So the bubble sort algorithm looks something like this. We've got in this case an array of size four and the bubble sort will have two for loops for loop that will traverse like this and the inside for loop that will traverse for the comparisons. Now to sort this array of size four and it's at the moment four, three, two, one in ascending order, meaning one, two, three, four. This is our worst case scenario that we can get for the bubble sort. So looking at the first pass here you will see that there will be three comparisons and all three comparisons the element on the left will be smaller than the element on the right so there will be swaps for three comparisons for the next pass there will be three comparisons again but only the first two will be true and the last one will not be true and if we go on to pass number three, you will see that only the first comparison is true and the rest are false. Now, if we look at this, we can see that this will go on. And even if the array gets bigger, if this was an array of size five, this will have one extra um, layer for comparisons and one extra pass and that extra pass would have had three false comparisons now as we can see here three is not bigger than four two is not bigger than three three is not bigger than four we can safely assume that when with this worst case scenario we do not have to do these we can eliminate these comparisons to effectively increase the speed of the bubble sort algorithm so how would we do this so let's jump into the coding and see how we would optimize the bubble sort algorithm so in code blocks i will create a new empty file and i will save this file on the desktop as bubble sort bubble sort optimized dot c great so i will start with ash include std io dot h i have my main function in main void return zero okay and that's our basic template so we just need to compile and check that everything executed successfully. So let's start. We will go and create this array. So we will say int arr size for is equal to four, three, two, one. And now we will go and create a bubble sort algorithm so we will create two counter variables and one hold variable so the traditional bubble sort use for loops two for loops one inside the other and it's got a if statement that will do the comparison and do a swap so the first for loop the outside for loop will be our boss so what we will do is we will say i is equal to zero i will be smaller than the size and the size is four so let's what we will do is let's go and define a size variable of four and we will say size there and we will go and say size minus one so size minus one is three and then 
smaller than three, so three is not included, so you have zero, one, and two. So for a array of size four, we need three passes. So zero, one, two, that's correct. And the same for the inside loop. We have j is equal to zero. J is smaller than size minus one. And we have to add increments for both of these for loops. So we've got the two for loops, the one, the outside for loop for the passes and the inside for loop for the comparisons. So what we will do is we will say ARR I, ARR I is ARR I, or oh sorry, J, is ARR J bigger than ARR J plus one. And if it's bigger, we will swap. So what we will do is we will say hold is equal to ARR J and we will say ARR J becomes ARR J plus one. Okay, so we have stored the value of ARRJ inside hold and we said ARRJ will become now, now ARRJ plus one and then we say ARRJ plus one becomes hold. And that's our old conventional way of doing the bubble sort. So if we run this, our program will successfully compile and what we can do is we can create another for loop here at the bottom and this for loop we will use the counter variable i again i is smaller than size i plus plus and this for loop will just be for us to print out all the values inside this array so we'll say percentage d arr i okay and this is now our sorted sorted output okay so let's run this and see what happens so as you can see the bubble sort technique or algorithm successfully sorted this array of four three two one two one two three four but as i said we can optimize this so how would we do this back to the slide we can see we need to take away the, these false comparisons because they are actually making it slower so this is the worst case scenario and this will always be there doesn't matter what the arrangement of this array would be on the worst case scenario these are ineffective comparisons that is not necessary to do so how do we deal with those and it's actually quite simple what we can do is on the first iteration we have our pass at i0 we can say for the first comparisons we say size minus one minus i and what this effectively does is the following so if i back to the slide again the first time around we say minus i and i is zero so we don't eliminate any unnecessary comparisons the next time around i will be one and then we can effectively eliminate this comparison and on the next one we can effectively eliminate two because then i will be two so we say minus those great so let's go back to our algorithm so we're going to use the outside for loop counter i and then minus it from the inside for loop for the condition where it needs to stop so let's see what will be the difference if we run now you'll see one two three four the array is also sorted correctly so what we can do is let's create another variable called count 
and I will call this count compares compare count compare and count compare will just count the amount of comparisons we do so what will happen is I will say count compare and every time the inside for loop runs I'm going to increment count compare and what I will effectively do is I will illustrate to you by the count compare variable and I will say count compare is equal to percentage D and count compare just going to add a new line there so that we can actually oops save that we can see how many comparisons there was so this if statement even if it's false it counts as a comparison it takes up uh, processing time so let's go back to our conventional for loop so if we run this we will see count compare is nine times so there was nine comparisons done in this bubble sort algorithm so if we go back to the slide we can see one two three four five six seven eight nine great so now what I will do is I will minus that I and let's see how many count compares do we have now and effectively we've now eliminated three unwanted unnecessary comparisons that's actually increased our speed with 33 percent okay so we eliminated three um, comparisons so just by doing this small little tweak to our conventional bubble sort we increase the efficiency on processing time with quite a bit but that's all for me thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon